Right, Rich, uh, we're back in league action today after a, a, a high from Saturday in the cup game, uh, home to White Enzyme. What's your thoughts ahead of the game? Yeah, uh, well, firstly, it's a bit of a hot one out today. Um, uh, from that point of view, it's going to be a tough one. Bearing in mind we've got a barking here on Monday, but we take this one first. We did have the emotional high after Saturday. Um, I must be honest, a few of us were quite drained after the weekend. Uh, good couple of days off. But tough one today, at home again. Um, hot one, but, but looking to do our things, to be honest. We're going to come out the traps like we usually do. Uh, I've got a few injuries. Uh, we lost Brandon Wood during the week to quite a naughty one at training. Um, Paul Cox is still injured, uh, but it's good to welcome back uh, Harry Rawlings to the squad. Yeah, so all in all, ready to go, to be truthful. Yeah, um, and obviously, this is a young side, um, still learning this level. Um, how do you make sure that after two good wins, especially after last week, how they make sure that they focus on the job ahead rather than, you know, uh, getting carried away from a couple of results? Yeah, essentially that's my job, to be truthful. Um, they do have good pedigree in understanding uh, it. we always take one game at a time. And this part of the season, it is the building blocks to have a good season if you can. So it is essentially just playing one game at a time. We'll worry about Enzyme today, try and get a positive result. And as soon as that game finishes, then we'll lock on to the next one, which is Barking on Monday night. But no, they're very well drilled. They're very well schooled in that respect. And they know what's right and what's wrong and how to prepare properly for today. And that's what we're focused on. Yeah. Um, the conditions are going to play a big part today. Mm -hmm. um, for anyone that's watched your teams, obviously, it's normally very high tempo, mm -hmm. high press. Um, how, did they, how did you manage that today? Because obviously, for long periods of time, it's going to be... You know, probably not the level of, of pace you would want um, because right. of natural heat. But yep. how do you make sure that you don't lose that part of the game? Uh, well, it's a big part of our game, to be fair, that high press. And we are quite intense as well without the ball. Uh, we will not deviate from that, if I'm being honest with you. Doug, I'm, you know, I'm assuming there'll be a couple of water breaks in each half as well, which will give us an opportunity to recover. But I am bringing a few changes today, what with big games coming. Uh, but this is why you have a a good squad, so the, the guys that are coming in are fit, they're hungry, uh, and I'm hoping they, they take their opportunity to, one, uh, play you know play well, and two, impress me with big games coming up. But, our backers, we are a fit side, to be honest with you. I know it's warm, uh, that's a bit of an understatement, but it's no different to pre-season as far as I'm concerned, and I'll be uh, expecting them to do what we usually do. Yeah, and you just mentioned it there, a number of changes today, I think it's, uh, five from the starting lineup who are not uh, five or six from the starting lineup who didn't play la who played last week. Sure. You're obviously looking at the squad and Monday in mind, but again, obviously it's important to to focus on today. Uh, how do you think those boys are set up ready? Obviously, Sonny plays today; it's his first game yeah, for the team. That's right. that's right. um, so, how, how would you make sure they get off, get, get off, hit the ground running? Really? Uh, well, looked Thursday night. Uh, we have a training session Thursday, and I was quite happy with the guys that I did was looking to rotate and use and you know this is why we've got a squad as big so I've got to trust it I've got to go with it I believe in every single player in this squad as well and I, I do expect them the lads that are coming in to basically be like for like of what what's there previously now the beauty of this is as well on a day like today uh, in the senior league it's we've got five subs and you can use all five so yeah. there may be a case that you know I'm bringing eight, all five on at once to give others a break you know so OK. And um, what do you expect from Enzyme today? Um, not actually sure in terms of I've never seen them play, but obviously I've done my homework. Uh, I know they've got a good lad up front in Charlie Portway, a good player. He'll hold the ball up. Um, but I am expecting pretty much what I've seen in the last two games with the, the, the ball going slightly longer and the competing side of things being very busy, physical, especially in the middle of the park. Uh, but we're well equipped for that uh, and we're at home, nice big pitch and again, I tend to back my side and not worry too much about the opposition and worry about what we're doing and if we're doing things right then to be truthful I'm quite confident and it doesn't really matter about the other side but again, they'll be paid the respect, respect that they deserve uh, coming here but we'll try and take away from what they do and worry about us. Good, good luck to you Rich. Thank you mate. Cheers.
Touch deliver, please. Touch deliver. Oh, my God. 
Head on, Jen. Hook it. Hook it. Five. Um, you can only say that a terrible 20 minutes is, is just that game in, in Enzyme's favour. Give us a summary of the reports of the game. Uh, uh, to be fair, first and foremost, to be fair to Enzyme, uh, I knew they was going to come with a certain way of planning the plan and I feel that they executed that really well in the first 25 minutes, taking a three goal lead. Uh, that doesn't excuse sloppy lazy defending from uh, my defence and, and my goalkeeper. Uh, attitudes weren't right today uh, in terms of the defensive aspects of our game. Uh, to find yourself 3-0 down after 20 minutes is, is horrendous and is it was shambolic to be honest with you. I'm not one of those, I won't mince my words, it worked good enough and I will make changes because of it. Um, and you give yourself a mountain climb. It doesn't matter where you're playing but when you're 3-0 down uh, it's difficult, especially against a well-drilled side uh, uh, physical and know their game inside out and they made it incredibly difficult for us. So, fair play to them, but when you do get back into a game of football like we did, uh, I think we went in at the break at 3-2, uh, a good reaction to it without playing our best, a, a wonderful strike from Richard McCabe to make it 3-2. We went in at the break and we were confident. Um, we always score goals, that, that's a given, uh, whether we're playing that well or not. Um, 
but yes, conversation at half time. Post, sloppy attitudes, not picking up your men properly, no communication, uh, and they made it 4 2. Again, mountain to climb. Uh, Recruit, water breaks were handy at that certain point of the conversation again, but we've had a dig count, we've hit the bar, we've hit the post, we've had two clear opportunities from inside the area centrally, uh, we've had a flicked opportunity from Bish. We've had an opportunity from a corner and I reckon we probably had about 10 chances to score in the second half. So then uh, at 4 2, we got back in the game. One from Harry Williams. Three kick strike direct into the net. Uh, we got back in it with only seconds remaining on the clock. Uh, young Caleb Mensah got his first goal for the club with a brilliant headed goal. And I assumed that would be the last kick of the game, but then they've gone. Start. We haven't dealt with the first ball again. Then we've given away a sloppy corner, and then they just switched off. And fair play to the time. So when you're giving that much space in the box, that's yeah, obviously we did well to get back in. Different today, and that, that again, that's that I didn't mean Enzo in any disrespect would change it that much, but I had obviously half an hour Monday night as well. Now, when you do make those changes, sometimes your flow, your your rhythm in certain areas goes, and I put it down to that. But that doesn't forgive uh, laziness or sloppiness defensively, and come with your runner and competing properly. Now, again, you're, you're going to get no uh, no life from me. I'll be brutally honest and say it just just literally wasn't good enough and I, I said to him at half time I've got 11 players in this dressing room all playing rubbish uh, all not at the races properly now when you've got 11 doing that in a game of football you haven't got any chance yeah I mean you score four goals in the game you think to come away that you would have won comfortably yep um, yeah in, in the second half we created an awful lot yep. um, but I think what we saw today was a typical SMC game where we were punished for mistakes yes. or poor defending um, and Enzyme took their chances um, and uh, obviously the boys are going to learn that so how do we get them focused for Monday today's done now Monday's yeah exactly another big game so well we've got a huge one under the lights on Monday night uh, I've personally got food for thought in terms of what uh, way I'm going to go um, yeah there will be changes again if I'm being honest with you uh, but they've got to understand it um, it's it's a real eye opener the first few games you know, very archetypal Essex Senior League teams in terms of what they do. They've all been quite similar in how they play. But look, we've got a local derby on Monday night against Barking. Uh, it's under the lights, it's here. Hi, this... uh, on the back of a 5-4 defeat. Um, give us a, your summary of the game. Um, I mean, well, it was tough. Conceded three early goals and then was just chasing the game after that. I mean, I thought we were the better side throughout the game, but I mean, that's football in it. And... They were physical and just winning pick ons and stuff like that. And yeah, we were chasing the game and just couldn't do it. Yeah. Uh, down after 25 minutes is always a battle. I think the team did well to get back in the game. Um, what, what do you think the difference was today? Because we, you know, it looked like we we didn't have the same sort of leadership, the same sort of um, defensive shape. Uh, Martin was not as happy as we were. What do you think? What happened out there today? Yeah, well, there has been a little change in personnel, so it's a new team. I think there's about four or five new players sort of coming to the side today, so we haven't really played together before. So, I mean, it's just one of them things, I guess, where the cohesion isn't quite there. But 
yeah, it's disappointing. Yeah. And from a fairly experienced player, just talk through the last goal because you thought you get the game four four. Was it naivety from the team? We were very high up the pitch from their kickoff. Allowed a two v one situation with probably their best player, which allowed them to get obviously you know get punished. With what what would you see? From your point of view? Yeah, it's massively disappointing. Because they've done the same kickoff four times, right? So four goals. They've done the same kickoff. They've set back and gone long. It was very. I think we were still sort of getting over the fact that we've got an equaliser left with one minute to go. All switched off to be honest with you. Big man up we need to make sure that every single set piece and everything like that, every time they throw a ball into the box, that we're getting it completely clear mm. and then we're playing our football. Yeah. Alright Colin, I know it's difficult when you lose to go in front of the camera, but thank you and uh, hopefully we can put it right on Monday. No worries, thanks mate. Cheers.